I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama, I could scarcely remember my own name. I know things had got real heavy. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max! Max! Come on! The first had been easy, money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. Ooh, no, son, nothing like doing some good blow with some good friends on a boat. Daphne! Ah, come here, I love this one! Oh, Marcello, you're going to be the death of me? <laughs> Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? In some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Yeah. Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Hey, hey soldier! Oh. Oh, I gotta quit drinking so much. I'll give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, hey, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the AO, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. No, not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? Uh, I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? ¡Abran fuego! ¡Abran fuego! 
Dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. This was where Marcelo was supposed to be sleeping. He'd barely come down to this deck. Passos had the name of the bar where I was drinking my life away. I should have put things together then, instead of waiting for De Silva to walk me through it real slow. The room belonged to Passos, my partner in crime. Or maybe someone else's. The bed was made. I could only guess that Passos was upstairs in the thick of it, whatever it was. The pirates wouldn't get everything. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. after a two days bender. How to shut off the fuel feed. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? was always stopped. <laughs> the 
the guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. After I got out of New Jersey, things had flared up again between the Punchinellos and the DeMarcos. Didn't look like things would die down anytime soon. I was gonna have to stay away from the only place I'd ever known. Whatever they were looking for appeared to be gone. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement, and Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. Booze, coke, pills... You could get whatever party favor you wanted on this vessel. There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? It didn't make sense. Why would they leave the jewels and rip open the walls? It didn't occur to me just what the other cargo on board could be. ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. The boat was well appointed. Maybe there was something on the bridge. I checked every other inch of the boat. I spotted Passos and Marcella. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. 
Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it. It didn't seem quite so kosher. What about what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay. Let's go. La. See? I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. We're here. I didn't realize you knew your way around here. They were using that building to get across the canal. Some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. to find on a boat full of drunks and bullshit artists I'd been the cabaret act shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality Welcoming party.
still had other problems to deal with. Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Jesus Christ. <laughs>